Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metenge Proprietary Limited. And in this short video, I want to talk through the use of MedSim on a Mac. Some of you may have noticed in some of my other YouTube videos that I, I work with a Mac. I, I use a MacBook Pro and then I run MedSim on my Mac and I run Microsoft Office, um, Word, Excel, etc. on on the Mac. And I've been using Macs for, for a number of years for all of my medicine work. It started off as a uh, a very distinct, I noticed a very de uh, definite um, improvement in, in performance in medicine solving speed. Um, and at one stage I was building um, clusters uh, a cluster network uh, supercomputer, <laughs> a small version of a supercomputer, which which I built with um, um, Apple Minimax stacked um, with um, cat cables, and so I, I didn't need keyboard, keyboards and um, monitors. And and the Minimac is, a, if you're not familiar with it, sort of a um, hamburger size computer. Um, in any case, that's that's another story. So it started initially with a, um, I used to have Macs that would boot to Windows and then I would run Metsim. And then I guess the, the final um, motivation to get to know the Mac operating system better and to consider using Mac as the host for uh, Windows was the, the, win, the introduction of Windows 8.1. And the change in the user interface frustrated me so much that I thought it's really time to have a look at what else is available. So the result is that I now use uh, Mac to get the benefit of the, the hardware quality and the, and the performance. And I run operating systems on the Mac um, using a product called um, parallels for for Mac, um, which is a so I opened the wrong application there. So I'll go back up. I wanted this one. Um, parallels desktop, um, parallels for Mac, which is a system that um, allows you to to host and manage alternative operating systems. I had Windows XP running as well, so I've shut that down. Um, so here we are at the moment on my Mac desktop. I've got a Windows 10 desktop open as well. And this is my Parallels for Mac um, operating system management. So everything you've seen me doing um, in my MedSim and Learn MedSim videos has been in this Windows 10 uh, desktop window uh, on my Mac and you'll notice that I've set my screen aspect ratio for the Windows 10 virtual machine as being a different aspect ratio from the Mac desktop and the reason for that is it lets me swipe across and get to any um, of the shortcuts there, the Mac shortcuts to um, applications on the Mac and first thing to note is that the Mac with Microsoft Office for Mac there's really seamless um, compatibility and operation between um, using Word, Excel, Outlook etc on the Mac. Okay so I'm going to put my Windows 10 operating system to sleep so what, what's happening is the current status of my Windows 10 virtual machine is being saved to disk as a file and I'll close it. And at the moment all I have is a Mac and now I'm going to wake up my sleeping state of my Windows XP machine. And that's going to open full screen. So it's not, it's different from, I've set it up differently from my Windows 10 virtual machine and and this you know for somebody who's 
um, who only wants to 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 work with Windows. Um, well, I guess I guess this is more familiar. So it's just totally a a a Windows machine, a Windows XP machine. And I guess the first question is, uh, why why even have a Windows XP machine? And for me, the, there there are many reasons for um, wanting to uh, have both a Mac operating system and also a Windows XP um, operating system. First of all, Windows XP was the the final or one of the final um, um, versions of a very very good operating system. And as all medicine users know. Some, some of the changes that came about with the transition through Windows 8 to Windows 10 left us unable to use some old legacy software or some features such as the medicine help files um, which um, and um, I feel quite strongly that if I have a perpetual license for software that I still value and want to use for a long time why should i why should i not be able to use it anymore because um the operating system has been changed in a way that i wasn't aware of and and wasn't didn't know the consequences of before the change and then i find i've lost um i've lost the ability to use software that i want so i have software under Windows XP. Um, I'm not going to open this. This is my text database. It's written in a 32-bit um, in 32-bit system, and I've been using this software since about 1993. It's actually a... I first saw it as a library database management system that was used by Mintech in South Africa, and it's one of the best text databases I've ever seen. And I've used it ever since. And it, um, so that's one example. There are a number of examples of things that I want to continue to use Windows XP for. Another one important one to me is I've done a lot of work in macros for Excel in Excel version 2003. And at this point, I'm, I have no idea how much work would be involved to to redo that or modify it for use in the latest Excel. Um, and by having Windows XP, I, I don't have to deal with that right now. Okay, so I can three finger swipe sideways from my Windows XP virtual machine back to my Mac operating system. Um, and um, Another reason that, that I've gone to this uh, method of working with virtual machines for Windows hosted on a Mac operating system is that I have on a number of occasions had a complete Windows system failure um, where either the registry gets itself tied in a knot or there has been a combination of software and hardware um, problems that's made a machine unbootable unrecoverable um, and in one case that was just by doing a a uh, disk maintenance defrag or whatever and first of all of course we all know we should always back up and and I'm sure if I knew Windows better I might be able I might be better able to to deal with these scenarios but I don't have time or interest to 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 get into a knowledge of the computer at that level so for me this combination of using um, the Mac Mac hardware, Mac operating system, and hosting virtual images of machines with various Windows applications uh, works for me. So um, that may help explain if you, you see any Mac stuff coming through on the edges of my YouTube videos and... Um, it's something that you can consider at least for your own use. Thank you for your time.